Solomon Naumovich Rabinovich, better known under his pen name Sholem Alaikum Yiddish and Hebrew, Slumlikayam also spelled Samlikum in Soviet Yiddish, Russian and Ukrainian, Solom Alahim March 2 O.S. February 18, 1859 May 13, 1916, was a leading Yiddish author and playwright. The musical Fiddler on the Roof, based on his stories about Tevi the Dairyman, was the first commercially successful English language stage production about Jewish life in Eastern Europe. The Hebrew phrase Slum Lykayim Shalom Alaikum literally means, May peace be upon you, and is a greeting in traditional Hebrew and Yiddish. Topic Biography Solomon Naumovich, Sholem Nohamovich, Rabinovich, Russian, Solomon Naumovich, Solom Nohamovich Rabinovich was born in 1859 in Pereyaslav and grew up in the nearby shtetl, small town with a large Jewish population of Voronko, in the Poltava Governorate of the Russian Empire, now in the Kiev Oblast of central Ukraine. His father, Menachem Newham Rabinovich, was a rich merchant at that time. However, a failed business affair plunged the family into poverty and Solomon Rabinovich grew up in reduced circumstances. When he was 13 years old, the family moved back to Pereyaslav, where his mother, Che Esther, died in a cholera epidemic. Sholem Alaikum's first venture into writing was an alphabetic glossary of the epithets used by his stepmother. At the age of 15, inspired by Robinson Crusoe, he composed a Jewish version of the novel. He adopted the pseudonym Sholem Aleichem, a Yiddish variant of the Hebrew expression Shalom Aleichem, meaning, Peace be with you, and typically used as a greeting. In 1876, after graduating from school in Pereyaslav, he spent three years tutoring a wealthy landowner's daughter, Olga Hodel Lov, 1865–1942. From 1880 to 1883 he served as Crown Rabbi in Lubny. On May 12, 1883, he and Olga married, against the wishes of her father. A few years later, they inherited the estate of Olga's father. In 1890, Sholem Aleichem lost their entire fortune in a stock speculation and fled from his creditors. Solomon and Olga had their first child, a daughter named Ernestina Tissa, in 1884. Daughter Lyalia Lily was born in 1887. As Lyalia Kaufman, she became a Hebrew writer. Lyalia's daughter Belle Kaufman, also a writer, was the author of Up the Down Staircase, which was also made into a successful film. A third daughter, Emma, was born in 1888. In 1889, Olga gave birth to a son. They named him Elimelech, after Olga's father, but at home they called him Misha. Daughter Marusi, who would one day publish, My Father, Sholem Alaikum, under her married name Marie Waif Goldberg, was born in 1892. A final child, a son named Nachum, Numa, after Solomon's father, was born in 1901. Under the name Norman Rabin, he became a painter and an influential art teacher. After witnessing the pogroms that swept through southern Russia in 1905, including Kiev, Sholem Aleichem left the city and resettled to New York City, where he arrived in 1906. 
his family set up house in Geneva, Switzerland, but when he saw he could not afford to maintain two households, he joined them in Geneva in 1908. Despite his great popularity, he was forced to take up an exhausting schedule of lecturing to make ends meet. In July 1908, during a reading tour in Russia, Sholem Aleichem collapsed on a train going through Baranowitz. He was diagnosed with a relapse of acute hemorrhagic tuberculosis and spent two months convalescing in the town's hospital. He later described the incident as, "...meeting His Majesty, the Angel of Death, face to face." and claimed it as the catalyst for writing his autobiography, Funim Yerid, from the fair. He thus missed the first conference for the Yiddish language, held in 1908 in Chernovitz. His colleague and fellow Yiddish activist Nathan Birnbaum went in his place. Sholem Aleichem spent the next four years living as a semi-invalid. During this period the family was largely supported by donations from friends and admirers. Sholem Aleichem moved to New York City again with his family in 1914. The family lived in the Lower East Side, Manhattan. His son, Misha, ill with tuberculosis, was not permitted entry under United States immigration laws and remained in Switzerland with his sister Emma. Sholem Aleichem died in New York in 1916. <laughs> Literary career Like his contemporaries Mendel Macher Sforum and I. L. Peretz, Sholem Rabinovich started writing in Hebrew, as well as in Russian. In 1883, when he was 24 years old, he published his first Yiddish story, Svi Steiner, Two Stones, using for the first time the pseudonym Sholem Aleichem. By 1890, he was a central figure in Yiddish literature, the vernacular language of nearly all East European Jews, and produced over 40 volumes in Yiddish. It was often derogatorily called jargon, but Sholem Aleichem used this term in an entirely non pejorative sense. Apart from his own literary output, Sholem Aleichem used his personal fortune to encourage other Yiddish writers. In 1888–89, he put out two issues of an almanac, Die Yiddish Volksbibliothek, the Yiddish Popular Library, which gave important exposure to young Yiddish writers. In 1890, after he lost his entire fortune, he could not afford to print the Almanac's third issue, which had been edited but was subsequently never printed. Tevi the Dairyman was first published in 1894. Over the next few years, while continuing to write in Yiddish, he also wrote in Russian for an Odessa newspaper and for Voskhod, the leading Russian Jewish publication of the time, as well as in Hebrew for Ha Melitz, and for an anthology edited by Y. H. Ravnitsky. It was during this period that Sholem Aleichem contracted tuberculosis. In August 1904, Sholem Aleichem edited Hilf, a Zaml Buck für Literatur und Kunst, Help, an Anthology for Literature and Art, Warsaw, 1904, and himself translated three stories submitted by Tolstoy, Esarhaden, King of Assyria, work Death and Sickness, The Three Questions, as well as contributions by other prominent Russian writers, including Chekhov, in aid of the victims of the Kishinev pogrom. Topic. 
Topic: Critical reception. Sholem Aleichem's narratives were notable for the naturalness of his character's speech and the accuracy of his descriptions of shtetl life. Early critics focused on the cheerfulness of the characters, interpreted as a way of coping with adversity. Later critics saw a tragic side in his writing. He was often referred to as the Jewish Mark Twain because of the two authors' similar writing styles and use of pen names. Both authors wrote for adults and children and lectured extensively in Europe and the United States. When Twain heard of the writer called, "...the Jewish Mark Twain," he replied, Please tell him that I am the American Sholem Aleichem. Topic. Beliefs and activism Sholem Aleichem was an impassioned advocate of Yiddish as a national Jewish language, which he felt should be accorded the same status and respect as other modern European languages. He did not stop with what came to be called Yiddishism but devoted himself to the cause of Zionism as well. Many of his writings present the Zionist case. In 1888, he became a member of Hovivii Zion. In 1907, he served as an American delegate to the Eighth Zionist Congress held in The Hague. Sholem Aleichem had a mortal fear of the number 13. His manuscripts never had a page 13, he numbered the 13th pages of his manuscripts as 12a. Though it has been written that even his headstone carries the date of his death as, "...May 12a, 1916." His headstone reads the dates of his birth and death in Hebrew, the 26th of Adar and the 10th of Iyar, respectively. Topic. Death Sholem Aleichem died in New York on May 13, 1916 from tuberculosis and diabetes, aged 57, while working on his last novel, Model, Pessy the Cantor's Son, and was buried at Old Mount Carmel Cemetery in Queens. At the time, his funeral was one of the largest in New York City history, with an estimated 100,000 mourners. The next day, his will was printed in the New York Times and was read into the Congressional Record of the United States. Topic: <laughs> Commemoration and Legacy. Sholem Aleichem's will contained detailed instructions to family and friends with regard to burial arrangements and marking his yartzeit. He told his friends and family to gather, read my will, and also select one of my stories, one of the very merry ones, and recite it in whatever language is most intelligible to you. Let my name be recalled with laughter," he added, or not at all. The celebrations continue to the present day, and, in recent years, have been held at the Brotherhood Synagogue on Gramercy Park South in New York City, where they are open to the public. He composed the text to be engraved on his tombstone in Yiddish. Dulikta id apashitur, here lies a Jew a simple one. Geschreiben idish deutsch far Weber, wrote Yiddish-German, translations, for women. Unfairen prosten folk hot er geven a humorist a schreiber. And for the regular folk, was a writer of humor de ganzi leben umbelosed geschlagen mit der Welt kapors. 
His whole life he slaughtered ritual chickens together with the crowd. He didn't care too much for this world. De Gansi Welt hot gut jamacht, the whole world does good. Un er, oy ve, gavain o y f sores, and he, oh my, is in trouble, un davka de mol geven der oilem hot galacht. But exactly when the world is laughing. Geklutscht un fleg zich flayen, clapping and hitting their lap. Doc er gekrinket dos vase nor got, he cries, only God knows this. Basad, as Kainer Zal Nitzin, in secret, so no one sees. In 1997, a monument dedicated to Sholem Aleichem was erected in Kiev, another was erected in 2001 in Moscow. The main street of Birobudzhan is named after Sholem Aleichem. Streets were named after him also in other cities in the Soviet Union, among them Kiev, Odessa, Vinnytsia, Lviv, and Jytomyr. In New York City in 1996 East 33rd Street between Park and Madison Avenue is additionally named Sholem Aleichem Place. Many streets in Israel are named after him. Postage stamps of Sholem Aleichem were issued by Israel Scott No. 154, 1959, the Soviet Union Scott No. 2164, 1959, Romania Scott Hash 1268, 1959, and Ukraine Scott No. 758, 2009. An impact crater on the planet Mercury also bears his name. On March 2, 2009, 150 years after his birth, the National Bank of Ukraine issued an anniversary coin celebrating a lichum with his face depicted on it. Vilnius, Lithuania has a Jewish school named after him, and in Melbourne, Australia, a Yiddish school, Sholem Aleichem College, is named after after him. Several Jewish schools in Argentina were also named after him, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil a library named Bibsa, Biblioteca Sholem Aleichem was founded in 1915 as a Zionist institution but some years later Jews of left-wing assumed the power by regular internal polls, and Sholem Aleichem started to mean communism in Rio de Janeiro. BIBSA had a very active theatrical program in Yiddish for more than 50 years since its foundation and of course Sholem Aleichem scripts were a must. In 1947 BIBSA evolved in a more complete club named ASA, Associação Sholem Aleichem that exists nowadays in Botafogo neighborhood. Next year, in 1916 same group that created BIBSA, founded a Jewish school named Escola Sholem Aleichem that was closed in 1997. It was Zionist too, and became communist like BIBSA, but after the 20th Communist Congress in 1956 school supporters and teachers split as a lot of Jews abandoned communism and founded another school, Collegio Eliezer Steinberg, still existing as one of the best Jewish schools in Brazil, named after the first director of Sholem Aleichem School. He himself, a Jewish writer born in Romania, that came to Brazil. In the Bronx, New York, a housing complex called the Shalom Aleichem Houses was built by Yiddish speaking immigrants in the 1920s, and was recently restored by new owners to its original grandeur. The Shalom Aleichem Houses are part of a proposed historic district in the area. 
On May 13, 2016 a Sholem Aleichem website was launched to mark the 100th anniversary of Sholem Aleichem's death. The website is a partnership between Sholem Aleichem's family, his biographer Professor Jeremy Dauber, Citizen Film, Columbia University's Center for Israel and Jewish Studies, the Covenant Foundation, and the Yiddish Book Center. The website features interactive maps and timelines, recommended readings, as well as a list of centennial celebration events taking place worldwide. The website also features resources for educators, Sholem Aleichem's granddaughter, Belle Kaufman, by his daughter Lala Lyalia, was an American author, most widely known for her novel, Up the Down Staircase, published in 1964, which was adapted to the stage and also made into a motion picture in 1967, starring Sandy Dennis. Topic. Published works Topic English language collections Tevi's Daughters, Collected Stories of Sholem Aleichem by Sholem Aleichem, Transil Francis Butwin, Illis Ben Sean, N.Y., Crown, 1949. The Stories Which Form the Basis for Fiddler on the Roof the Best of Sholem Aleichem, edited by R. Weiss, I. Howe originally published 1979, Walker & Co., 1991, ISBN 0-8027-2645-3 Tevi the Dairyman and the Railroad Stories, translated by H. Halkin originally published 1987, Shawkin Books, 1996, ISBN 0-8052-1069-5. 19 to the Dozen, Monologues and Bits and Bobs of Other Things, translated by Ted Gorilic, Syracuse Univ Press, 1998, ISBN 0-8156-0477-7. A Treasury of Sholem Aleichem Children's Stories, translated by Eliza Chevron, Jason Aronson, 1996, ISBN 1 56821 926 1. Inside Kashrilovka, Three Stories, translated by I. Goldstick, Shokin Books, 1948, variously reprinted. The Old Country, translated by Julius and Francis Butwin, J. B. H. of Peconic, 1999, ISBN 1 929068 21 2. Stories and Satires, translated by Kurt Leviant, Sholem Aleichem Family Publications, 1999, ISBN 1-929068-20-4. Selected Works of Sholem Aleichem, edited by Marvin Zuckerman and Marion Herbst Volume 2 of The Three Great Classic Writers of Modern Yiddish Literature. Joseph Simon Pangloss Press, 1994, ISBN 0-934710-24-4. Some Laughter, Some Tears, translated by Kurt Leviant, Paperback Library, 1969, Library of Congress Catalog Card No. 6825445. Topic. Autobiography Funim Yared, written 1914–1916, translated as The Great Fair by Tamara Kahana, Noonday Press, 1955, translated by Kurt Leviant as From the Fair, Viking, 1986, ISBN 0-14008830X.
Topic: Novels. Stempanu, originally published in his Volksbibliothek, adapted 1905 for the play Jewish Daughters. Yazel Salavi published in his Volksbibliothek. Tevi's Daughters, translated by F. Butwin originally published 1949, Crown, 1959, ISBN 0-517-50710-2 Model the Cantor's Son. Originally written in Yiddish. English version, Henry Schumann, Inc. New York 1953 In the Storm Wandering Stars Marienbad, translated by Eliza Chevron 1982, G. P. Putnam Sons, New York from original Yiddish manuscript copyrighted by Olga Rabinowitz in 1917 The Bloody Hoax Menahem Mendel, translated as The Adventures of Menahem Mendel, translated by Tamara Kahana, Sholem Aleichem Family Publications, 1969, ISBN 1-929068-02-6 Young Adult Literature Model Pessy Dem Kazans, translated as The Adventures of Model, The Cantor's Son, Young Adult Literature, translated by Tamara Kahana, Sholem Aleichem Family Publications, 1999, ISBN 1-929068-00-X. Also appeared as model The Cantor's Son, Henry Schumann, Inc. New York 1953. The Bewitched Taylor, Sholem Aleichem Family Publications, 1999, ISBN 1-929068-19-0. Plays The Doctor, 1887, one act comedy. Der Get the Divorce, 1888, one act comedy. Dia Seif, The Assembly, 1889, one act comedy. Mazel Tov, 1889, one act play. Yaknez, 1894, a satire on brokers and speculators. Sezate un Seshprate Scattered Far and Wide, 1903, Comedy Agent N. Agents, 1908, One Act Comedy Yiddish Tector Jewish Daughters, 1905, Drama, Adaptation of his early novel Stempanu D. Goldgraber The Gold Diggers, 1907, Comedy Schwer zu sein a Yid, Hard to be a Jew, If I Were You, 1914. Dos Grois Gevens, The Big Lottery, The Jackpot, 1916. Tevi der Milkhiker, Tevi the Milkman, 1917, performed posthumously. Topic Miscellany Jewish Children, translated by Hannah Berman, William Morrow & Co., 1987, ISBN 0-688-84120-1 Numerous stories in Russian, published in Voskhod 1891 to 1892, 